Hello friends, I am going to start the mutual fund and I am going to discuss illustration number 1 of the mutual fund CMA final SFM. Please read the questions here. This is one of the most important questions. Please revise these questions again and again to make good confidence. Okay, please read the question here. Computation of net assets value. We have we are going to find the net assets value. Illustration number one. The following particulars relates to the guilt fund scheme. What the fund has invested IT and ITS company 28 crore, infrastructure company 15 crore, or aviation transport and logistics 7 crore, automotive automotive 32 crore, banking and finance 8 crore cash and other assets in hand these 2 crores, investment in fixed income bearing, listed bonds, listed bond is 10 crore and the interest of this is 10.50 and unlisted bond is 8 crore, expenses payable on the closure date, closure date this is expenses, this is a 3 crore, market expectation on listed bonds, market expectation is 8.40 this is a required rate of return on the in bond valuation i have discussed about what is the interest rate what is the interest rate and market expectation the concept of the market return and interest rate is given in bond valuations in my concept class okay now the number of units is this 5.5 crore Okay, the shares when at the time of investment index was 2950. Now the index point is 1750. 2475. Now the index point is index point the date of purchase. Date of purchase this and now the this is the index point current. Okay, according to this, the value of a stock will increase or decrease. Okay, because of suppose when index point was 100 i have purchased the share of rupees 20 now the index point will be one suppose index point is now right now index point is 125 in this case what will be the value of the share in this case value of the share rupees 20 when index was 100 now the index is index is 125 then what will be the value this is the 1.25 25% it means 25 this will be the 25 the, in this way a stock value will increase according to the index point and this information is given the index point at the time of investment and the current according to this you will evaluate the index point and value of a stock value of investment required net assets value at the fund of the fund net asset value per unit if the period under the consideration two years and fund has distributed rupees two per unit per year as a cash dividend ascertain the net return analyzed ascertain the expenses ratio if the fund has incurred the following expenses these informations are given okay now management and advisory fees this is this administration expenses this is this and publicity and documentary fees this total fees is speech this now you have to calculate these all okay net assets value at the of the fund net assets value of the fund okay now i am going to find the working note first working note first Calculation of opening net assets value. Calculation of opening net assets value. How will you calculate the opening net assets value? Please try to understand. These all investment you have done. Adding these all investments adding these all investment and multi divided by 
number of units you will find the opening net assets value okay please look at it it and i investment in share a part investment in shares at cost shares at cost it and ites ites company look at here this is the it and ites company this company 28 crore infrastructure company 5 15 crore aviation transport and logistics 7 crores automotive these banking and service department these cash and these okay look at it this is 28 crore 28 crores infrastructure infrastructure company this is 15 crore aviation transport and logistics 7 crore auto motive this is 32 crore investment in fixed income banking and finance banking and finance banking and finance 8 crore now in b part investment in fixed income bearing bond investment in fixed income bearing bond bond look at it investment in fixed income bearing bond what are the fixed income bearing bond like these are the investment in equity these are investment in fixed income bearing bond these two these two that is listed bond and unlisted bond listed bonds unlisted bond bonds this is 10 crore and 8 crore total investment in assets of mutual fund this is 108 crore 108 crore now number of units number of units of mutual fund how many units you have this is given here in the questions 5.5 crore 5.5 crore the units 5.50 crore okay now you can calculate net assets value at beginning net assets value at been 108 crore divided by 5.50 crore look at here in this case we have assumed here what we have assumed in this case there is a cash and other assets in the hand this is 2 crore i have not taken why i have not taken because of it is assumed that this cash and other assets in hand even throughout the funds period is arises after investing and this will be arises up at the end this arises due to investments okay it was not at the beginning so that assumption you can write here assume what assumption i am going to write here assumption what assumption i have taken 
कैश एंड अदर एसेट्स आर कैश एंड अदर एसेट्स आर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इंक्लूडेड बिकॉज दे एराइज आउट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट मेड इन द बिगिनिंग इन द बिगिनिंग ओके तो नेट एसेट्स इज कैलकुलेटेड कैलकुलेशन नेट एसेट वैल्यू पर यूनिट कैलकुलेशन ऑफ नेट एसेट वैल्यू नेट एसेट्स वैल्यू इन ओपनिंग ओपनिंग नेट एसेट इन बिगिनिंग एन ए बी इक्वल टू टोटल एसेट्स एसेट्स वैल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स दिस इज अ वन हंड्रेड एट करोड रुपीज वन हंड्रेड एट करोड दिस इज अ फाइव पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर रुपीज नाइनटीन पॉइंट सिक्स फोर नेट एसेट्स वैल्यू पर यूनिट नेट एसेट्स वैल्यू पर यूनिट exactly the same way i we have to calculate net assets value at the end okay net asset value for using net assets value at the end you will have to use these all index points because of according to index point the share value will be increase or changes okay now these all value will set up this all value are set up with the discuss with the index points okay working note sec okay first part answer of the first part this is what was the question you had net such value of the fund net such value per unit at the end i am going to calculate okay calculation net such value of the funds after holding period answer of first part calculation of net assets value of fund after holding period net assets value of the funds after holding period okay rupees in crore you write here particular okay here a part your one part it and its the value was 28 crore but what is the index point look at here at the time of investment it was 1750 but current it is 2950 2950 at the time of investment 1750 1750 this become Forty-seven point two zero. In second company, what is the company? Infrastructure. A structure. At the time of investment, it was fifteen. Look at what was the index of infrastructure. At the time of investment, it was one three seven five. 
now it become 2475 2475 the 2475 1375 1375 this is 27 in 3 aviation aviation this is rupees 7 at the time of investment this is 2860 divided by 1760 1760 the value is 11.68 now fourth is automotive automotive this was 32 current its index value is 2860 2860 automotive look at here aviation 2570 aviation 2570 aviation 2570 this is a 2570 this mistake 7 into 2570 divide 1760 this is 10.22 now 7 into 2860 divide 1760 aviation 2570 1540 aviation this is 7 into 2570 aviation 2570 divide 15 Four zero. This is eleven point six eight. Eleven point six eight. Aviation. I am doing mistake here. Aviation. Please look at here. Aviation. What is aviation? Look at here. Aviation transport and logistic at the time of investment 1540. Now it is 2570. 1520. 1540 1540 now 7 into 2570 divide 1540 this is 11.68 okay now in automotive 2860 2860 divided by 17.60 32 into 2860 divide 1760 this is 52 this is 52 now banking banking the so banking we have at the time of in banking we had at the time of investment is 1600 now it is 2300 okay what was the investment at crore 8 into 2300 divided by 1600 it is 11.50 now market value of in second part this is the suppose this is a part a now in B part, 
मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ इन्वेस्ट लिस्टेड बॉन्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ लिस्टेड बॉन्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट लुक एट है दिस इज जूम टू बी परपेच्यूटी परपेच्यूटी मीन्स फॉर इन्फिनिटी वट वॉज दियर वैल्यू लुक लिस्टेड बॉन्ड इज टेन करोड दिस इज द रुपीज वन थाउजेंड ईच वन थाउजेंड ईच द इंटरेस्ट इज अ टेन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टेन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओके इंटरेस्ट इज टेन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो this is number listed bonds 10000 this is 10000 each the interest on the this is 10.50 of 10000 interest of this is into 0.105 105 this is the value of one bond and it is defined by it is it's a market return value that is given here 8.8 this is the market expectation of this listed bond is 8.4% this is divided by 8.40% divide 0.085 the value of this is 12123521235.94 into number of units how many number of unit 10000 this is the 10000 here so after multiplying it you will get 123529 this this much One two three five two nine four double one seven six four. This is the value of the listed bond. This is the way of calculation. First, we interest and perpetuity present value at the rate of eight point four zero percent is calculated. That is the value of listed bond. And then discuss on the concept. Discuss of the concept of the bond is already taught in a bond valuation. Okay, now. This is calculated as ten point five zero percent into ten thousand divided by eight point four zero percent into ten thousand. Okay, this is done. Ten thousand number of units. This is of each bond value, face value. This okay. Now this is calculated as twelve point five zero crores. Now D E cost of investment in listed bonds. Cost of the value of twelve point five zero E crore is calculated here. you can calculate it in a simple way in simple way also you can calculate it then then into Ten point five zero percent divided by eight point four zero percent. Ten into ten 
0.4 this is a simple way of calculation cost of unlisted bonds cost of investment of unlisted unlisted means which is not bond which is not traded in the market this value is given here in the questions unlisted bond is 8 crore this is a 8 crores okay the listed bond value is calculated according to the bond valuation that i have already taught in a bond valuation concept you will discuss you will learn in bond valuation in more clear okay now cost of other assets d cost of other assets other assets this is given there cost of other assets this is 2 crore cash and other assets this is given this arising after investment okay now total value is 1 point 1 point 171 one seven one point eight eight okay outstanding expenses less outstanding expenses this is three crore neat assets value total assets value value of fund 168.88 crore 88 crore net assets value per unit what assumption i have taken here assume that cash and other assets beginning of the period at the same value it is assumed that cash and other assets arising after investment okay now now you can calculate net assets value Calculation net asset value per unit. Calculation of net assets value per unit. Total assets value here. Assets value. Rupees one point one sixty eight point eight eight crore total assets value total number of units number of units five point five crores net assets value at end. 168.88 crore divided by 5.5 crore this is rupees 30.71 30.71 this we have calculated okay now we can give the answer sir. we have calculated net assets value of the funds we have calculated net asset value per unit now in third part if the period under Constitution two years and the fund distributed rupees two per unit per year as a cash dividend, then return we have to calculate. Okay, ascertain the net as net ascertain the net return analyzed, ascertain the expenses ratio if the funds has incurred the following expenses. Okay, now look at it. Return we have to calculate. Return percentage is net assets value at end net assets value at beginning plus dividend divided by net assets value at beginning in 200 okay the return percentage in two years return percentage in two year 
Why two years? Because of time period is two years. That is net assets value at end. We have already calculated net assets value at end. Net assets value at beginning. Dividend divided by net assets value into hundred. Please try to understand. This net assets value we have already calculated thirty point seven one. This is thirty point. Seven one and net asset value at zero. We the we are in working note. We have already calculated nineteen point six four. This is nineteen point six four plus dividend in two years per year. Dividend is rupees two. That in two years, this and nineteen point six four. This is return percentage seventy six point seven three percent. Annualized return percentage, annualized return percentage. This is the return percentage for two years. This is return percentage for two years. Annualized return percentage will be seventy six point seven three divided by two. That is thirty eight point three six. Thirty eight point three six percent per annum. This is annualized return. Now we have to calculate expense ratio. Expense ratio formula is total expenses divided by average value of portfolio, average value of portfolio into hundred. Now we have to find total expenses. How to calculate total expenses? Look at it. These are the expenses given in the questions. Management and advisory fees. This is the two point seven lakh crore, two point two two seventy five lakh lakh. That is two point seven lakh seven five crores. Administrative expenses. These public publicity and documentary expenses. This is seven point five zero lakhs. That is. Cal working note. Calculation of total expenses. Total expenses. In this case, management advisory fee. Management advisory fee. Rupees two point seven five crore. Now administrative expenses. This is three point five zero crores. Now publicity and documentation. Publicity and documentation. This is zero point eight zero crores. Seven point five zero crores. Average value of portfolio. Calculation of average value of portfolio. What is the average value of portfolio here? Average value of opening net assets value. Net asset value plus closing net asset value. Net assets value whole divided by two. Opening one zero eight plus one six eight point eight eight. That is already calculated. One zero eight. This is come from the one six eight. This come from here, and one zero eight come from here. Okay, this is whole divided by two. Divided by two, one thirty eight point four four crore. One thirty eight point four four crores. Now, expense per unit. Expense ratio. 
now expenses ratio you have to calculate expense ratio we have to calculate expenses ratio total expenses divided by average value of portfolio average value of portfolio in 200 this is 7.05 138.5 Four four into hundred. This is a five point zero nine expense per unit. Seven point zero five five point five unit. This is one point two eight two per unit. Okay, this question is complete. This is a very good question. Please revise these questions two times, three times to make very good concepts. Please like, subscribe and share my videos.